Hey, what's up and welcome back to episode 2 of my Raw Nationals prep series. In this video, I've just compiled two of my training days this week. And yeah, um, I'm still not sure whether or not I'll be doing a day-to-day -day episode or compile two days, kind of like this one, or do weekly recaps. But I just want to maintain a sustainable upload schedule. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from the last episode. And last episode, Benji asked, what accessories do you do? e.g. front squat slash box squat for your main movement. So Benji, to answer your question in regards to my main movements, I'll answer it specifically in the realm of the powerlifting movements. So the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. So what I use won't necessarily be the best for everyone in the gym, but can be a consideration for you to explore. Um, my accessories or supplementary exercises are more specifically variations of the main movements. Uh, because I'm not really huge on isolations. It really depends on what uh, phase of training you may be in. I always like to choose movements that closely mimic or exaggerate the squat, bench, and deadlift. So let's start out with the squat. So for the squat, the variations I prefer, um, I'm always trying to choose something that helps reinforce and develop squat patterning. Uh, it doesn't take much to kind of lose your kind of squat pattern, especially after some time off or just feeling off on some days. So... I really like to emphasize trying to focus on fixing execution. So my go-to variations are tempoed squats, um, prescribing like specific time within each phase of the squat, uh, prescribing a time for the eccentric, uh, time in the bottom, and then the concentric. Uh, I'm a really big fan of the 3-2-0 tempo, so three seconds on the way down, a two second pause in the hole, and then as fast as possible up. Uh, and then the second squat variation I enjoy is just a simple pause squat. Uh, no tempo on the way down, but you know, your normal eccentric into the hole and then pausing in the hole for maybe a two or a three count. Um, I really like the pause squat because it helps reinforce your bottom position. And in my, in my opinion, um, it helps develop horsepower out of the hole. And I've seen a lot of success with pause squatting. For the bench press, uh, there are literally dozens of options here. But I'll share with you what I prefer the most. Um, I like varied long pauses on the chest. Um, you know, it's very competition specific. Uh, helps develop, you know, confidence in the pause. And I usually prefer prescribing a two count or a three count pause on the chest. And I also love close grip bench though. Um, close grip is definitely one of the things I love the most especially with a lot of volume so i don't really do like super heavy close grip but i love close grip for like eights tens and even twelves uh, both are very simple and effective but honestly the biggest difference for me and most as far as trying to get your bench press numbers up is to simply just bench more so add more volume over the week increase bench training frequency and then you can sprinkle in whatever variations you like wherever they fit uh, plenty of people don't realize that benching once or twice a week just isn't enough in some cases. And lastly, for the deadlift, um, my preferred competition style for the deadlift is the sumo. So as far as variation goes in training for the deadlift, I really enjoy the opposing stance. So that, in this case, that would be the conventional deadlift. Um, I really like deficit conventional deadlifts, maybe like a one or two inch deficit. Um, honestly, I always just use like a metal plate 45 and I stand on that and I'll just do my deficit conventional off that. And lastly, I really, really like pause deadlifting. Uh, the pause doesn't have to be too much. It doesn't have to be like a two or three count. Uh, preferably just a decent motionless pause just off the floor. And then from there, you can just lock out. So those are just my main two as far as the deadlift goes. Um, but any other accessories for the deadlift, I really like, you know, hyper extensions on like a Roman chair. And then I also enjoy um, Romanian deadlifts. Um, but that's like you know, different styles. I mean, not different styles, but like different phases of training. I'll use those. Uh, so those are kind of just the main variations I prefer and have used in the past, but this isn't to say I won't be exploring more in the future. I love trying new things, especially when it comes to training. So that's why I really look forward to my front squatting, uh, stiff legged deadlifting, spoto pressing and pin pressing, uh, which are all kind of mixed into my prep for the raw nationals. So I'll definitely be reflecting on those in the future. Just to kind of chime in on the video playing right now um i was really happy with this deadlifting uh deadlifting for me has always been kind of an issue early on in the prep and this time around i'm really trying to focus on executing day in and day out really just sharpening and really refining my technique every day so every time i have an opportunity to kind of deadlift 
Um, I'm always using it as a chance to really clean up, uh, you know, my execution. And it really showed in this session today. Um, I was really happy with how well it was moving, how well I was able to execute, and just my positioning overall. Uh, so that's kind of it for this episode. Remember to ask more questions in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check in with you guys soon.